welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about this makeup look. This is a daytime soft holiday glam makeup look. This is definitely a glam look without going too overboard for some of you that want something a little bit lighter but still want to look like it's a special occasion and you're getting ready to go out. Another thing about this video is that it is a collaboration video. Which, so for those of you that do want something that's going to be a little more dramatic and sultry and sexy or just you want darker colors. <laughs> so one of my really good friends here on YouTube, her name is Hannah. She is from the YouTube channel Beauty with Hannah May. I've known her since I first started my channel. I've been following her ever since and she's so sweet, so fun to watch. Um, I'm so excited that I'm collaborating with her. This is a nighttime look so it's totally appropriate for those nighttime holiday parties. That you After you watch this video, go ahead on over to her channel. You have a couple more options to wear to your holiday parties. I hope you guys are having a great holiday so far. Happy Thanksgiving! I'm going to go ahead and start. Okay, so we're starting out with our primer. I'm just putting this primer on my T-zone just to make sure that everything lasts all day long through any parties or naps I take after Thanksgiving meals. <laughs> so now I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I love this foundation, mostly because it just makes my skin look really nice and dewy and moisturized and refreshed. Especially when my skin looks dry, I like to use dewier foundations so I don't look like I, I don't know, <laughs> so I don't look too dry. And then of course I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, sorry, not Beauty Blender, I'm using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to um, apply that. And now I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and it doesn't really brighten my skin so much as it matches my skin, so I'm just applying this over my blemishes, and I'm trying to cover up my dark circles, and then I'll use that beauty sponge to blend everything together. Now I'm using my um, Anastasia Contour Kit, and I'm using those first two shades just to set my makeup. And then I'm using that um, contour shade in Fawn, and I'm using that as my crease color right now. Um, I really just wanted to have a natural looking crease color, not something that's too bright or too harsh, since we are trying to do a soft glam look. So I'm just applying it all in my crease. And also underneath my eyes. And this is kind of weird, I'm applying it right underneath the beginning parts of my eyebrows just to help bring my eyebrows a little bit closer to my eyes. My eyebrows are pretty high, I think, so I like applying a little bit of shadow right there so that it feels, I don't know, it's just a preference. Now I'm taking ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in Liberty, and this is pretty much like putting foil on your eyelids. It's incredible. The best way to apply it is using your finger though and not a brush. You can blend it with a brush and apply it if you want to, but if you want the true pigment, definitely apply using your finger. Just applied some on my lid and now I'm just blending it out with that same brush that I was using to put on that contour shade. So this is the Hard Candy palette. I don't remember the name of it but I'll put it down in the description box. So what I'm doing is spraying the e.l.f. Um, spray mist and set and applying that silvery gold shade mostly because I wanted to cancel out that blue tone from the Liberty Super Shock Shadow. The Super Shock Shadow, the glitter is really just for a base for the glitter we set on top. And I'm taking that burgundy color and I'm putting it in the corners of my eyelids just to give my eyelids a little bit more depth and I'm also bringing it up to my crease and then I'll blend it out of course. I'm just brushing out my eyebrows and I'm going to be using BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Brow Palette um, and I'm using that bottom left pomade. When I use this product, it takes me no time at all to do my eyebrows. The color, the pigment is amazing. It's so smooth and easy to use. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm just taking Liberty and I'm applying it on my lower lash line. I didn't want anything too dark because this is a soft glam look, so I'm just applying the glitter there. Now I'm using Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner. This is my all-time favorite liner. I'm almost out, I'm gonna have to get some more soon. But basically what I do is I just draw a simple line and then I wing it out on the sides and then connect the two lines. So pretty easy. So after that, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and then I'm going to be applying Ardell Lashes. I also don't remember what these are, but I will list that down below. Um, they're just very soft and very light. I just want my eyelashes to look longer. I'm not trying to look, make them look thicker or bold or anything like that. It just gives a really, really nice touch. Then I'm taking Fawn from the ABH Contour Palette and I'm just using that to contour my cheekbones. I'll also put it on the sides of my temples, um, on each side of my chin, on my forehead, and I will use that to contour my nose. I'm using Revlon Melon Drama and this is a peach blush. I'm applying this on my cheeks. This is a Rimmel lip liner, and I'm just using this to line my lips, and then I'm taking a brush to kind of let that fade out a little bit. I don't want to apply it all over my lips because I'm going to be applying a nude lip color. Now I'm taking the Maybelline lip color, and this is a beautiful nude shade. Then I'm taking Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and applying that on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and underneath my eyebrows, and on my cupid's bow, and on the inner corners. So, if you can remember all that. <laughs> So that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love the way it turned out. I think it's perfect for daytime holiday parties or whenever you just want to look a little bit more glammed up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!